Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys these three best class setups for Warzone. Let's just get straight into this. In, if you guys do enjoy or if this video does help you out in any way whatsoever, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. So the first one is going to be probably one of my favourites right now. I'm not quite sure between this one and the next one, um, but yeah, this is the M4A1 class. First attachment is the Monolithic Suppressor. This increases the damage range and it gives your weapon a bit of suppression, which is really, really nice, especially on Warzone because you do want to be quite stealthy. You don't want to be giving away your position on Warzone um, because before you know it, you could be shooting someone and next thing you know, there's a whole entire squad right up your ass about to kill you. So sound suppression is going to be very, very helpful in this. People aren't going to know exactly where you're shooting from they can still look on the mini map however but it still is very very helpful next one is the stock m16 grenadier i'm not quite sure how to pronounce it um but this increases the damage range bullet velocity and the recoil control therefore giving this weapon amazing accuracy as you guys can see the accuracy shoots right up the control shoots right up and also the accuracy uh, i mean the range also is pretty increased with that attachment Next up is the Corp Combat Halo or Holo site. Is it Halo? I don't know. Holo site, uh, but this site is really, really good. Um, this is the site Cloaksy uses, if you guys know who he is. Um, I was watching his Twitch stream the other day, and he used this class and he used this attachment, I mean, and the site just looked really good. I thought I'd give it a go, and I must say, it is pretty good. Next up, six drown mags. Six drown mags is going to help you guys out a lot. Um, extra bullets in Warzone is obviously going to be very helpful. Um, next up, range of foregrip for better recoil control and aiming stability. So as you guys can see overall, the stats on this weapon, it's looking pretty accurate. The range is pretty high, the control is very high, and the damage is also pretty high. Next up is going to be the secondary, which is going to be an overkill sniper. First attachment, the 26.9 inch HDR Pro barrel. This increases the damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control, therefore giving it better damage and also better accuracy. Next up, thermal scope. You can use whatever scope you guys want to, but at the moment, thermal scope is ruling ground war. I mean, war zone. Literally, everyone and their nan is using thermal scope. Literally, everyone is using this um, thermal scope HDR. So, if you can't beat them, join them. Next up, FTAC Stalker Scout stock. This increases the aim down sight speed, which is very very helpful, especially with a sniper, because obviously. You guys are going to be wanting to aim down the site as fast as possible so you can get your shot on before the enemy gets their shot on you. Next up is the recon perk. This uh, basically lets you see enemies' nameplates um, from longer distances or you can use focus. Focus will help you um, hold your breath for longer so you're going to be able to get some better accurate shots but it's completely up to you on what you use there. You can also use sleight of hand for a faster reload time. Um, next up though is going to be 9 round mags, obviously the more ammo the better once again This is going to increase your ammo and therefore you're going to have a bunch more ammo Which there's not, not really much to say about that to be fair overall you're just going to have a better ammo Next up cold blooded, cold blooded is probably the number one best perk one for Warzone, literally every single person is using this. Um, now, the reason I say to use this is because, like I said, everyone is using thermal scopes, so using cold blooded is going to actually take you off people's thermal scopes, so it's going to be super helpful. Next up, overkill, obviously, so you can have two primary weapons, and then tune up if you are playing in squad, so you can revive your teammates faster, and if you are playing solo, I recommend you guys using battle hardened, so people can't stun you and get an easy kill, or you can also use amped, this is going to help you swap your weapons quicker, so it's completely up to you on the last perk, and it depends which um, game mode you're playing, so once again, if you're playing squads, tune up, and if you're playing a different one, uh, if you're playing solos, you can use um, Amped or Battle Hardened. Next up is going to be the C4. C4s can literally clear out a whole entire squad, um, a whole entire vehicle and kill everyone. And literally one C4, so it's probably the most overpowered equipment right now. And also the Heartbeat Sensor. Like I said, um, Heartbeat Sensor is really, really good if you're playing solo. It's also quite good if you're playing squads, so it's completely up to you if you do or not use it. Next class is going to be the Grau 5.56 class. Now, like I said before, I'm not quite sure if I prefer this class better or the M4A1 class better. I honestly, I don't know, but these classes are really good. 
So first attachment is the monolith suppressor. It's kind of similar to the um, M4A1 to be fair uh, with the attachments. The attachments all basically do the same. So monolith suppressor for better sound suppression and damage range once again. Next up the FS 20.8 inch Nexus barrel. Like, a, like the M4A1, increases the damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control, therefore giving this weapon super good accuracy, super good range and a super nice control. Next up is the FSS Blackjack stock. This increases the aim and stability, therefore giving you better control over the weapon and a little bit extra accuracy. Uh, the accuracy on this weapon is probably going to be one of the best things um, about this weapon, by the way, because the accuracy is super high, as you guys can see on the stats there. The accuracy is just super high and you guys are going to have an absolute on point shot with this class next up just like the m4a1 you guys are going to want to have as much ammo as possible so that is why i'm using the 60 round mags for extra ammo and then lastly the merc 4 grip for better recoil control and hit fire accuracy therefore boosting up the control boosting up the accuracy once again so this is definitely the best um probably the best i'm not quite sure yet if i if i prefer this weapon or the m4a1 yet um you guys maybe you guys can help me in the comment section below which one do you prefer make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below of which one you do like more now the next um weapon is the same weapon as before the hdr with exactly the same attachments as you guys can see thermal scope recon or sleight of hand or whatever you guys want to use um better range so yeah just stick on the same sniper as what the other class was now once again cold blooded overkill for the first two perks but on this one i'd like to use battle hardened and this is because i play solo with this class and battle hardened is going to make me immune to people's stuns and stuff you can use amp once again or if you do want to play on squads with this uh, class you can use tune up and then once again the same lethal and the same tactics. cool Last up is going to be the Odin class. Now, you're probably thinking, the Odin, I haven't really seen many people using this um, weapon or not many people talk about this, and that is very, very true. I haven't actually seen that many people talk about the Odin in Warzone, but it is really, really nice, so I do recommend you guys giving it a go. So first up is the Colossus Suppressor. This is going to increase the sound suppression, the damage range, and it's going to give you better recoil control. And as you guys can see, the damage on this weapon is super high, the range on this weapon is super high, and the accuracy is also super high. Now the only thing that this weapon kind of um, is bad with is it's kind of a slow weapon. The mobility and control and all of that kind of stuff is pretty low as you guys can see and also the fire rate is also pretty slow um but next up is going to be the odin factory 420 millimeter this increases the aim down sight speed and movement speed so i'm kind of getting a bit of mobility back with this attachment next up is kind of your choice with the um, optic i've been kind of experimenting and i can't really find one that i really like um but one that i've been using now is the same as the m4a1 which is a corp combat holo site um the thermal scope on this weapon is actually really really nice as well and also some really really high zoomed in um ones are also very very nice next up though is the 25 round mags um Obviously, extra ammo is better, but once I do unlock the other one, which I haven't unlocked yet because I haven't got this le weapon that high of a level, I will be using that one. I'm pretty sure that's a 30 round mags instead. So, yeah, I will be using that once I do have it. So, if you do have that unlocked, I do recommend you guys giving that a go. And then last up is the Merc 4 grip for better recoil control and hip fire accuracy. And as you guys can see, the accuracy on this weapon is super high, damage and range is super high. And like I said before, all the other stats are kind of, kind of slow, but it's alright. So now for the secondary on this weapon, the secondary on this weapon is actually going to be a .357 which is a pistol, yes a pistol on Warzone, this pistol is super good on Warzone, trust me you guys are going to love using this, so the .357 long barrel is the first one for better range and all that kind of stuff, tack laser for better aim down sight speed and um, aim in stability and all that kind of stuff, snake shot, stipple grip tape and then uh, lightweight trigger now I don't actually have a Kimbo unlock jet on this weapon But once I do have a Kimbo I'm gonna be stay taken off stipple grip tape because I obviously don't need to have a faster aim down sight speed and I'm gonna be sticking on some other stuff instead. So um, Yeah, once you do unlock a Kimbo I recommend you guys stick taking off stipple grip tape and sticking on a Kimbo instead and lastly, the perks are basically the same, except for my like to use Hardline, because it reduces costs of the buy station. Anyway, that's been it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.